Good morning and welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, now say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. And today, I find myself deep in the heart of Texas history. As you saw, we're in Gonzales, Texas, at Independence Park, nonetheless. Gonzales, Texas. This is a city park. This is truly an undiscovered gem. It's been on the it been under the radar. They rarely have a full park, even on the weekends, even in June. And look at the beautiful setting. How, how can you argue with great big old pecan trees? Before we get into the, the camp, all of the campground, let's take a look at the campsite. We're in RV site number 14. Now you'll have to pardon the road noise. The highway's right there. On the other side of the golf course. That's right, I said golf course, but we're not there yet. We're still talking about the campsite. Site number 14. It is a back end. So it is full connection. We do have sewer. We have water. We have 50 amp. What more can an RVer ask for? Plenty of shade. Look at those beautiful trees. They're huge. And that, my friends, is the Guadalupe River. Now, granted, it's not a paved site. It is a gravel berm. You gotta, gotta watch your step out here. It'd be easy to twist an ankle on the hill because it's pretty, pretty steep. But with that being said, the site, site is very level. No blocks required. We've got a nice breeze coming out of the south. We have shade trees, we have 50 amp, it's June, it's getting hot. We're not worried, we, we got it covered. Now we do have a picnic table way over yonder over yonder and it could stand a, a little mowing or, or brush hogging or, or something. It, it could use a little attention. Yes, it could. Not nearly as, as picturesque of a meadow campsite like we had down at Lakewood. But we like it. It's very convenient. The, we're in the town of Gonzales. So, Let's go see some stuff. Let's go see some Independence Park stuff and some Gonzales and some Texas Revolution stuff. Down around Gonzales, if you're looking for a place to have a family shindig, like a family reunion, or just a big gathering of folks, RVers, bikers, or whatever, the Lions Club Pavilion is available at Independence Park. And if you want to do like some serious barbecue cooking, Check this out. <laughs> I, I think this is the most extensive barbecue cooking facility that I have seen anywhere. That's just truly impressive. <laughs> that's a big, huge, that's two big, huge smokers. And then we have the concrete picnic tables under a big metal roof. So right across from the Lions Club Pavilion is the Rotary Club Pavilion. Now apparently they don't cook nearly as much barbecue as the Lions Club because they only have one long barbecue pit as opposed to the two. If you're bringing the kiddos with you, they will be so happy to learn that there is a big, massive playground. I think the good folks of Gonzales really like their baseball. Because this facility, Independence Park, has no less than four ball fields. Feeling like a little basketball? How about that? 
they have a basketball court. Of course they have a basketball court, but they got four baseball fields. And if volleyball is your thing, if volleyball is your thing, they have got some volleyball of, I guess that's volleyball. Either that or maybe they're doing like mini sprint cars. There's lots of day use area picnic tables with cookers on the banks of the Guadalupe River. So I, I said they had four ball fields. Uh, I saw three and I saw this structure and I thought, well, that, that must be a ball field. I was wrong. That'd be a rodeo arena. And apparently they have an annual rodeo here. And there's also a big facility that we're gonna go see later, or at, at least go get in front of it. Now this is, this rodeo arena is available for use by reservation only. If you're visiting Independence Park and it's hot, well, you might just want to take a dip in the pool. I guess it's closed on Mondays. I don't know. There's nobody in there and it's full of water. Oh, I can, I can only, I can just surmise that it must be closed on Monday. More baseball fields. <laughs> that's, that's three right there. And, and, and then on the other side, there's a couple of soccer fields. Most of y'all are not coming to Gonzales, Texas to play baseball or soccer. But if you're traveling through Gonzales and you need to stop and stretch your legs, take Fido for a walk, have a, just get off the road and relax for a little bit. I, I gotta tell you, Independence Park is, is really well suited to that there's plenty of plenty of room here in the in the independence park to stop and get out and enjoy something other than a truck stop parking lot a walmart parking lot a big old empty parking lot so if you want to learn about independence park of, of course you can get online uh, it is the beginning of the Texas Independence Trail. And here uh, we would be on, I guess, the northeast corner up by the, by the soccer fields. There's the Texas Independence Trail, Texas Historical Commission markers. And this talks about Texas, pretty much all of the Southwest United States was Spain. And then in Mexico got its independence, and DeWitt, this was Green DeWitt, he and his wife actually uh, opened up a colony. And then uh, the Mexican government under Santa Ana decided that they needed more taxes and whatnot. And the citizens of Gonzales had been loaned a cannon by the uh, Spanish, by the, by the Mexican military. And they decided to come and take it back. And that is where the come and take it right there so this this tells us all about the sequence of events for the texas independence i'm gonna read these and then we'll go see some stuff we've made it to the gonzalez hydro station this dam was built in 1925 and it's also a, a power plant I don't know if the power plant is still in operation. It doesn't look like it's still in operation. So 
I, 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 when I was down below the dam, that fellow that was fishing, that, that fellow that was fishing asked me if I was a kayaker because of the, the helmet. So we're above the dam. This is the takeout point, the portage for the come and take it paddling trail, which is why he was asking me if I was a kayaker. Well, this is a takeout point so you don't go over the dam. But that looks like that'd be... That'd be a bit of a scramble. But I guess that's better than going over the dam. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's the dam is producing electricity. It looks like that equipment has not been updated in quite some time. It just all looks derelict. All right, I guess we're gonna go see some stuff. Here, here at Independence Park, the RV campground is part of the golf course. So when you check in, you go into the golf course uh, clubhouse, office, whatever, you go in there and pay for your site. And if you're into the game of golf, I believe they rent clubs. If you're gonna pay a visit to Independence Park in Gonzales and you're pulling a motor, you're in a motor home, you're pulling a trailer, don't go past the golf. Don't go past it because there's no place to turn around and that's an eight foot five bridge. No visit to Gonzales would be complete without paying your respect to the 18, the old 18, September 29th, 1835. On this spot is where Texas independence began. A, a group of a group of Mexican soldiers had been dispatched to recover the cannon, and 18 Texans crossed the river and captured. 150 Mexican soldiers, Mexican dragoons, held them for two days. Now think about that, 18 Texans. Those dudes must have been some hardcore guys. 18 held 100, 150 captive for two days while the, the citizens of Gonzales went and recruited volunteers to resist for the recruited time to mass recruits for the battle of gonzalez and here are the 18 men those dudes must have been some hardcore guys all right there's some more stuff on this side of the river we got to see on google google maps google earth when you're looking down at Gonzales and Independence Park, you, and there's this big horse barn facility on the south side. Oh, here, here's a map. Okay, I'm standing right in the middle of that weird circular pattern. There's nothing here. <laughs> there's like four walking trails that come into the center of this clearing, but no information as to why i don't remember the name but there's a very large event center rodeo complex here in gonzales texas on the south side from independence park and that would be that whole thing right there so we were just in the heart in the middle of the hike and bike trail no horses but you can ride your bike and hike through it what I find to be fascinating is that they have a whole lot of full connection RV sites out here. I wonder if it's possible to use those if when there's not an event. I'm noticing a theme. All right, I'm, I'm in downtown Gonzales. And when you look at the satellite image of Gonzales, you see the Heroes Square. Uh, to summarize that, when the town of Gonzales was originally plotted out, 
there were a certain number of squares and some of those were designated for municipal buildings. This was one of those squares. It is now designated as Hero Square in commemoration of those Texians who fought in the Texas Revolution, which is what this monument is all about. But if you look at, at how this square is laid out, it's exactly like that hiking trail, kind of, sort of, <laughs> that I was just visiting. Interesting. They got a plan here. All right. I, there's, lots of his, there's lots of historical markers here, and you can see those on Google. And uh, I'm not a, doing a historical marker tour. I, I, I'm just showing you the stuff. And I thought this was interesting. A salute the flag. That's a great shot right there, though, isn't it? So this, this is the place where the cannon was buried, the peach orchard. The George W. Davis peach orchard. The cannon was buried here to hide it from the 150 dragoons. Two days later, it was dug up, mounted on an ox cart, on ox cart wheels. They loaded it with chains and scrap iron shot some scrap, some shrapnel. Shot at those Mexican dragoons with shrapnel. Shrapnel? <laughs> shrapnel. <laughs> shot at the Mexican dragoons with shrapnel. That's what I'm trying to say. Most historic for the for Texas, for, for folks from Texas. And you see they've planted some peach trees. That's pretty cool. We gotta, we gotta, gotta go see the cannon. According to the young lady at the visitor's center, no visit to Gonzales would be complete without checking out the Gonzales Museum, the Come and Take It Museum. Oh, it looks like there's, they're, they're working on the pond, the pool, the, the, in memory of the immortal 32 Gonzales men and boys. They fought their way into the Alamo to die with Colonel William B. Travis for the liberty of Texas. They were the last and only reinforcements to arrive in answer to the final call of Colonel William B. Travis. Wow. That's, that's some heavy stuff there. All right. The flags are needing some attention. Nineteen thirty six was when they built the memorial. National Leg Register of Historic Places. That is supposedly the come and take a cannon. It is substantially smaller. I thought it would be bigger. So, so there's been some debate about whether or not that's the actual real cannon. I, I don't know. The base is a replica, but they they say that's the original cannon. Doesn't seem like it was that big of a an item to have started, I mean, for something that small, I, I don't know. This was built in 1936, 37, celebrating the Texas Centennial. 
Good morning from Gonzales, Texas. Independence Park, Gonzales, Texas. See my new hat? Come and take it. <laughs> yeah. About done here. As soon as Yappy and, and the Ratty Pack get up, we're gonna, we're gonna go back towards the north. We're gonna make a return visit to Lockhart State Park. Mostly because she's got a meeting there today and I need to try a different barbecue restaurant. I've, I've had so many people tell me about all the great barbecue in Lockhart. I decided that since we're down here, I'm gonna try them all, or the big three anyway. Let's talk about Independence Park. Uh, there's a lot to like, and there's some to not so much. A lot of road noise. A lot of golf cart. A lot of golf course noise. Heard the guy out there spraying this morning. We like it here. It, it could stand some some tending to the weeds some some herbicide or something to knock down all those big weeds so we could see the Guadalupe River. There's plenty of activities for a day or two. I really enjoyed my exploration of the town of Gonzales. I, I was surprised to learn that the cannon, the cannon, was only this long. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you, you see that logo and it doesn't really give you a representation of the actual size of that cannon. It was, it was kind of, oh, that's the cannon? <laughs> There's a lot of, lot of stuff that I, I saw, hold on, bugs in my eye. There was a lot that did not make it into this video. Uh, one of those I could not film, but if you come to Gonzales, you gotta go to the public library, which is in an old bank, and the bank vault, it now contains, it now contains a most impressive gun collection with a lot of pieces that are one of a kind. So if you're into firearms, uh, that was that was very interesting. I spent about half an hour just. Look. We'll be coming back. Well, we're done here. We had no issues with security. I didn't feel unsafe last night. If, if you're wondering, we well, we felt very secure. I, I wasn't really excited about all the street lights because most of the campsites over there, you can see each campsite has its own street light. So. It certainly wasn't dark. It's definitely a great waypoint stop. Uh, it's right here off the highway. You got full connections. You can't beat that. For the, for about the same price as you'll pay at the state park. What amazes me is the availability. There, there's no one here. We're the only art, well, there's a full-time I think that's the lady that works in the the pro shop. But there, there's nobody. I don't know what this is all about. Don't ask me. I guess it's somebody's clothesline. It's just kind of weird place. If you've been to Gonzales and I've missed something that we, sh we should all know about, please post down in the comments what we should see what we should know about visiting Gonzales. Uh, if you enjoyed this little video, please, you know what to do. Click on that thumbs up and share me on social media. That really helps with the algorithm. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. That helps way more than you know. I, I, Looking at my metrics, about 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. That just, that's mind blowing. Please subscribe. That way you'll never miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. 
for those of you who have subscribed, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. She wouldn't be park hopping if it wasn't for y'all. We appreciate that. I appreciate that. And for my patrons, got the, got the come and take it cap here. You guys are awesome. We are so grateful. <laughs> you rock. All right. Let's turn it this way. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>